What's up everybody? Trevor here. And today, we're gonna be making some A-frame trellises for the garden. And we're going to use the drill, the measuring tape, the measuring tape. Two inch by a quarter inch bolts. One and a quarter inch deck screws. And the chop saw. Get the chop saw. Hey. We're gonna make a little teepee style, 12 inches down from the top. On every one of these boards, I'm gonna make a little line here, and we'll have to screw the holes so that the bolts can attach them together. Okay, I go poop. It's not a precise science, really, because they're just gonna be in the garden. I think I can do it freehand. I mean, they're only two by one, or one and a half by three quarters. Why do we do that? I don't know. Easy peasy. Now we're gonna switch. Ooh, don't touch that. It's hot. Yeah. So our objective today is to make three four foot wide frames. I would normally use a nice flat surface to do this work, but I don't think I need to doing this. Anyway, so I have my hole here for the bolt one foot down from the top. So I'm thinking two feet down from the top, I will do my top side support beam. So here's two feet right about there. I need about a foot at the bottom buried into the garden. So I'm gonna go two feet up from the bottom. Now I'm really hoping I won't split this wood. Tiny split. I'm gonna use the 764th bit to pre-drill the hole. So that's one side done. Look at that. Please do what you're doing. All right, so I want to evenly distribute these three things. And to get them down, I'm gonna use my little tiny shovel. It's a cave-in! Hey, a bug! It's a beetle or something. Ooh. Get out of here! Rude! Stick it in the back hole. Ugh. It's a little bendy, but that's okay. Here's where we need the bolts! I don't actually own a wrench, so I'm gonna use these little pliers to hold the other side shut. It's gonna work. Brother had to help out. You wash your on this side? I will hold this side with these handy pliers. And he will finish screwing it together. Bolting it together? I'm falling. Don't fall. He didn't put in the washer? I gotta put the washer in first. Why don't you just stand in the dirt? I didn't want to. I didn't want to get my boots dirty. And, as you can see, we have a one frame done. <laughs> Well, as you can see, now all three trellises are in the garden. We got dogs barking every which way. So next, we're gonna plant the tomatoes and then add the string to provide them extra support. Here we go. Yeah, just less enthusiasm, Trevor, and then just like talk like a person. I'm gonna use this first trellis here for my beautiful tomato plants. It's nice and moist, look at that. Ooh.
So in this area, we're gonna do three rows of 10 lettuce seedlings. And one more row right about here. One at a time, it's a painstaking process. Here we have all of our lettuce plants planted. I really hope that they grow, but we're gonna check back in in a week, maybe two. So these two bad boys are Brussels sprouts. Oh, yes they are. And we're gonna plant them down over here. And they actually end up growing pretty wide, so we need lots of space. It's got some roots. Look at those beauties. One spinach seed every one inch. I'm gonna do two nice rows of spinach, and then two rows of radish. All-American selection winner, 1957. Yep, well, we got a bunch of radishes. I just want to do a quick follow-up. This is the next day from planting everything. And as you can see, one, two, three, four tomato plants are doing great. But those are the ones that were still in the vegetative stage. But this one was starting to flower, and it did not transplant well. I'm hoping it will recover, but let's see. <laughs> 